hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for always watching and it's a pleasure to have you back so if this is your first time tuning into the channel or your first time coming across the channel i am patricia and i'm a business mentor and coach for massage therapists and wellness entrepreneurs and on this channel i talk all things related to mindset marketing and business so if these are things or topics that you want to hear about or want to learn about then you're definitely in the right place so today I want to talk about what I want to share with you is why you need to have a solid pricing strategy based on a business calculated decision, right? So that is what the topic is going to be about today. So if you want to learn more about this, keep watching. So let's jump right into this topic. And as I said, we're going to be talking about why you need to have a solid pricing strategy based on a business calculated decision. And I want to share with you about a massage therapist who I was actually recently speaking to. And I have her permission to share this story with you. So hence the reason I'm sharing it. So I was speaking to this massage therapist and she was sharing with me about, you know, what she's experiencing in her business. And, you know, she's feeling like things are not going her way. You know, she's feeling like, you know, she's trying, she's working very hard, but she's not seeing the income you know she's kind of living like you know month to month um you know not much things going on and you know she's seeing a lot of clients but you know her bank account doesn't reflect the clients that she's seeing and she's just starting to feel very burnt out stressed out and she just doesn't know what to do anymore you know she says she's posting and you know she's just working with a lot of clients but it's just not working out the way that she wants it to go especially when it She's feeling financially stressed. So I was listening to her and I then asked her a couple of questions just to kind of like really hone in on what's going on. So she also mentioned to me that she recently raised her rates and now she's charging a dollar a minute for a 60 minute session. So that's basically $60 for an hour of treatment. And I was like, how did you, what did you raise your rates from? Because if you're charging $60 now, then obviously that you were charging less than 60 USD prior. So I was like, obviously you are not going to have a thriving business if you're charging that rate. So when she told me that, I was like, you did what? So I had to be very honest with her to tell her that the reason why you're feeling this way and you're feeling like you're overworking and you're seeing a lot of clients is because of what you're charging. And not only that, you cannot, and I reiterate, you cannot build a thriving practice charging those rates. It is not going to be sustainable. You're not going to be able to sustain yourself and your business. And that's the truth. So when it comes to having a solid pricing strategy, you cannot just pull a number out of your head and say, okay, this is what I'm charging. Or you can't go and look at what every other massage therapist is charging and decide to charge the same thing. Because everybody is different. Everybody's lifestyle is different. What you want for yourself may not be what someone else wants for themselves. So just looking at others and comparing and just using what they are doing to fit your scope of things is not the right methodology, right? I know that when you're now starting out, yes, you might want to probably go with what's the market price of what everybody is charging, but that in itself too can hurt you even before you even start, right? Because you start off one thing and then you build your clients and then you want to jump into something else. So starting it off and ground up your foundation the right way is important because you see having a business calculated decision in which you price your fair service is based on a number of factors. You, you cannot just say, okay, I'm charging a dollar a minute. As I said, you are not going to, that is not going to be sustainable and your business will always be at a failing stage. 
you're not going to have enough cash flow coming in you're not going to have enough money in your bank account it's just going to be a, a disaster and then you're going to have all these clients coming to you because of your fact of what you're charging and then you're going to be saying that your books are full but then when you look at your bank account it's not even reflecting the clients that you're seeing so then you're going to become very resentful you're not going to want to see clients you're going to feel like okay i'm overworking why is um, i don't want to do this anymore all because even the clients that you're seeing are not even your ideal clients because more than likely you may not even probably have an established niche and if you don't have an established niche then you cannot have a clear marketing message and if you don't have a clear marketing message then you're actually taking everybody to work with because you feel like you need clients and that is not the right mindset so the reason why you need to have a solid pricing strategy based on a business calculated decision is to avoid you from actually building a failing business and a business calculated decision is based on a number of things now you have to look at the lifestyle and the life that you want and your business has to be a reflection of that so for example you have to look at the aspects of what does it take to run the business and there are many different moving parts to that you will have your rent to pay you're going to have like sanity sanitizing products to buy your linens you're going to have your oils and these different things to purchase you might have admin fees where you might have you might may you may also have membership fees that you have to pay for example like your accounting and your booking software you may have a host of other different aspects of things that you need to purchase you might have even light bills you might you might you might have insurance to pay you will have a host of different things in terms of what it takes to actually run your business and not only the expenses but you also have to take into consideration paying yourself because i know that is not something that a lot of massage therapists do you actually just work in a business and you don't actually pay yourself an income so you have to factor in your income within that scenario of what it is that your business is the essence or the expenses of your business to know based on those things how you should actually calculate and price for your service and those are the factors a few of the elements that you have to look at spot on in order for you to make a sound business decision based on your pricing pulling a figure out from nowhere is not the way to go and even when i say you look at all your expenses you even have to take into consideration on top of that what is the profit margin that you want your business to make all of these different things has to be factored into your pricing strategy another thing that i also say that is very important is having a business model but we're not talking about business model here we're talking about pricing strategy but that is also another aspect of actually building a thriving business so i just want you to know that having a solid pricing strategy is very important and that is a key element in order for you to have and build a thriving business please know that and i want you to just if you're not if you're not doing that as yet you really want to take us introspect of what is the life that you want what is the lifestyle that you want your business to give to you and you based a lot of the decisions around that right so this is something that i teach in my program the thriving practice recipe as well as working one-on-one -on -one with me um, in my coaching sessions and if you want to know how to actually create a solid pricing strategy based on a business calculated decision connect with me reach out to me i would leave a link in the description box below so that you can actually book a free consultation call with me so that we can have a conversation where i can see where you're at in your business and i can help you to figure out a pricing strategy and not just have a price so that you just need clients and you're actually not even serving the, your ideal client because the end result is you're going to become resentful you're going to eventually hate what you're doing you're going to become burnt out you're going to probably feel like you know this isn't something that you no longer want to do and you're going to just be always living bare minimal living month to month struggling because
because you're not making the income that you want you're not seeing your bank account reflecting the hard work that you're putting in and that is not the life and the business that you would have initially set out to build and that you thought that would be the freedom business that you were so longing to have so again I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can check it out. You can book that free consultation call with me. Let's have a little chit chat. Let's find out where you are. And if you need support and help with me helping you along this journey, I'm definitely here to help you. And we can actually help you to position yourself in a place where you're positioning yourself, not just as another massage therapist, but as the expert that you are and actually having a clear niche and a marketing message that will attract the clients that you are meant to work with and you are meant to serve. And not just having clients coming to you because you are the cheapest massage therapist in your city and you think that, okay, you're booked and you're booked, but you're just booked. And I like to be truthful, guys. We are overbooked and broke. <laughs> I am the real... I like to give you the real real. So we may be booked and you may be thinking that our business is so booked out, but we are ha actually running a failing business, right? Because being booked and your bank account doesn't reflect that booking, it's really and truly a failed business that is still in operation. You may not want to hear that, but I'm just giving you the honest, brutal truth from a place of love because I want to see massage therapists and the wellness industry that we're in thrive and be what it is meant to be. So that's just me here talking to you from a place of love and support and just giving you the truth from a place of just wanting you to elevate yourself, shift your mindset, see yourself in that place of abundance and where you are meant to be and nothing less. So until our next video, see you soon. Bye-bye.